welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my tiny home, what I love, what I hate, and um, just some neat facts about it. So me and my husband purchased this home in 2017. Um, it's actually a, a RV that we have renovated and changed. Um, it is a 2002 Sprinter RV. Uh, <clears throat> it is 32 feet and um, it has one bedroom originally. We added a second one for um, our son before he was born. Um, <clears throat> so some things I love about our RV is that it is pretty cheap way of living. Um, most people are paying around a thousand dollars for rent. These days we pay three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, how we got the RV was we were actually in a car wreck in 2017. Um, my husband had been gifted a brand new car for um, graduating high school and we got in a bad wreck. Got a pretty decent insurance um, pretty decent insurance payout. It wasn't the best because the car was originally $23,000 and we got nine. Um, we used $6,000 of that to pay for the RV. So we bought the RV in full from a man who was selling it used on Craigslist. Um, so we, we are, you know, homeowners at 20 years old. We were, I was... 17 when he bought the RV, he was 18 when he bought the RV. So we've lived in it for quite some time now. Um, I think three to four years. Um, we took a while to renovate it. We had to change a few things to make it comfortable for us. Um, obviously, we couldn't do much because we were young and we didn't really know what we were doing. It's not like we could pull out any cabinets or anything. <laughs> Um, so what we did was we painted it. We haven't painted this room yet. This is the original wallpaper. Um, we painted the kitchen, living room, and my son's room in the bathroom. So um, we painted it. We um, added our own couches because we had to tear out the old one because it's broken. And we put a wall up in the end of the RV for our son's nursery before he was born. Um, his nursery is very, very small but he doesn't stay in it long it's only for sleeping um he and plus he's only a baby right now so it's not like he needs a ton of room his room i believe is four feet by eight feet so it's pretty small like i said um in the future we plan on putting a loft bed to where he can go up the loft to sleep and then underneath is going to be his play area um but it's very it's a very inexpensive way to live. We pay $350 for rent for a five acre piece of land. Um, we pay roughly around $150 for our electricity bill in the summer because we do have an air conditioner, um, which usually runs up the bill. And I also had a swimming pool this summer. <clears throat> in the winter time, we pay probably around $100 for electricity. Um, and we do buy propane. And our water is well water, so we don't have to pay a water bill, but we do buy propane in the summer every three weeks. But in the winter, we use the propane here, so we buy propane every probably like two three times a week, depending on how cold it is outside. Um, an another thing that we love about it is um, it is mobile. We have moved, we have lived in three different locations in the RV. So you basically get to take your home with you where you want to live, um, which I love. And it's not very hard to move. You hook it up to a truck, close all the pop-outs, and you're on your way. Obviously, you have to secure things that can break, like TVs, picture frames, um, mugs, and stuff like that. Um, another thing that I love about the RV is how easy it is to clean. So since it's such a small space, it gets... Um, it gets, or you can clean it extremely, extremely fast. So usually for um, me cleaning the RV when it's very dirty, it takes me about uh, two to three hours to clean the whole entire thing, which includes, you know, mopping and everything. Um, my mop is right there behind us. <laughs> I got done cleaning a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, it's very fast to clean and um, it's easy to clean.
Okay, another thing I like about the RV is um, being so close to family members, you really um, get to know your family members better. Granted, sometimes, you know, you bump heads because you're in such close proximity, but usually um, you spend a lot of time with them and it just feels like you guys are such a happy, tight-knit family. All right, let's get into some cons about the video. I did go pick up Pastel. She was just chilling on my pillow behind me. Um, so some cons are going to be how small it is. Um, you don't have very much space to do things. So um, I actually don't even have an area to film. So I sit on my bed right here. And this is my cabinets up above where some of my clothes are. Um, so you really don't have any space to do things um, like exercise and stuff. I do all that outside. Um, a lot of playtime is outside. That's just because there's not really any room to do that stuff indoors. So if you uh, are an outdoors person, maybe that's a good thing for you. Just put the cap on me. <laughs> she's still a little bit skittish, especially when it comes to my fingers. Um, but she's getting a lot better. I stopped wearing gloves because I want her to get used to like the skin tone and stuff or the texture. Um, some other cons is going to be how messy it gets. I know I said for the pros it's easy to clean, but let me tell you, it gets messy, messy because, you know, it's such a small area. Um, there's not a lot of space to put things, so it gets really cluttered um, and trash just accumulates because it's such a small space. Um, but, like I said, it's easy to clean, so it's not that big of an issue. <laughs> She's biting my spikes. Um, some other cons are going to be that RVs are very cheaply made. So a lot of stuff breaks. Like our toilet broke. Our sink when we got it was broken. Our propane lines have broke. So you really got to replace things, which can get costly. Um, but because it's such a cheap since you don't have to pay very much for rent or bills it's a lot easier when it comes to replacing things rather than in a home replacing a whole hot water tank or something like that can get really really pricey um so more cons are pets so when we first moved into the rv i had two dogs i had one dog to start with got another one and they destroyed the entire rv because it's so small, so they don't have their own space. So they would, um, you know, come sleep in our bedroom with us. I'm just gonna let her be. Um, they would come sleep in our bedroom with us and they destroyed the carpets because car the carpet gets stained really easy and it's not easy to clean and neither one were potty trained when we brought them in. It was our fault or it was my fault, I should say. But um, yeah, it's pets you don't have a lot of space for pets like her cage is right here right next to my bed she sleeps on my side of the bed um and i have a fish tank i can only have small fish tanks so i can never have a really big fish like i want a goldfish but goldfish need a minimum of 50 gallons and i have a five gallon tank with i used to have a beta now i just have a few guppies she's like wandering all over the place she's exploring I would put her on my shoulder, but every time I put her on my shoulder, she flies off. So I'm just trying to get her used to, you know, being petted and being fed and stuff like that. Um, I had a parakeet when I was a child. He was super used to me. His name was Casper, and he loved being on me. I'm trying to get her to love me, but she doesn't. Um, <clears throat> sorry, back to the cons. Um, some more cons are gonna be. Okay, give me one second. Sorry about that. She flew in a no no space. <laughs> she landed on the floor, which has. And our bed is right there, so she can crawl under it. Um, some cons. Another con is definitely gonna be that it's not very. Um, like the locks and stuff on RVs do not feel safe at all. You can just put a key in and jiggle it, and it will unlock it. So we had to replace our locks in our RVs because they. Um, are not very secure at all or safe so we felt like anyone could break in at any moment and do something to us so we placed that um 
So yeah, other than that, I can't really think of any other cons other than what I mentioned. You know, um, I love living in an RV. It's very, it's been great for us. Um, we actually want to buy a new RV hopefully soon. Um, maybe a newer one, not brand new obviously because those things are way too expensive right now. Just something, you know, newer because a lot of stuff in this RV is outdated, like the lights, they're hideous and the light bulbs for them are extremely expensive. And I'm not a fan of yellow lights. I prefer um, white lights or like LEDs, but these are old style lights. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, but we are planning on getting a new RV soon. Um, not sure when. I don't know if we're going to customize it like we did with this one. Like um, our walls in the living room are black. And I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't know if we're just going to leave it like the original wall color or if we're going to change it. But I'm looking forward to that in the future. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. She says hi. Um, have a great day and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions regarding living in a tiny home or an RV, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Thank you.